<laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you notice. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> we are back with Kingdom Hearts. Yes, this is going to be a very fun LP. I waited a long time to LP this game. All right, there's a log here. We'll pick that up in a minute. Hey, baby, what's up? <laughs> All right, supplies. Uh, what was it again? Jeez, we can't be able to wrap without materials. We need two logs, one cloth, and one rope. All right, guys, I kind of accidentally already picked up the cloth. I'll show you where it is in a minute. Let's get this uh, log right here. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, the first Kingdom Hearts, there's a lot of a uh, uh, wrong button. I'm not playing the Japanese version. There's a lot of uh, puzzle solving to do in the first game. If, if it's your first time playing the game, um, unless you watch my LP, of course, you're going to spend half your time figuring out just what to do, really. You're going to be running around, like, trying to figure out, you know, what I do now and stuff. And for some of you, the music is going to drive you nuts because uh, the music loops, like, every, what, 40 seconds? <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> this music good. This music gonna drive you crazy. It just really is. There's the rope. All right, and the cloth is um. Ah, damn. Go up. The cloth is up here. Uh, go up the ladder. Thank you. The cloth will be inside here somewhere. I kind of accidentally picked it up while I was running around. So yeah, that's where the cloth is. All right, at this point, you can go back to Kyrie and uh, check it the next day. However, you don't want to do that yet. This is a perfect opportunity for you to get this uh, battle system on your fingers and level up. Your friends here. Ah, the breeze feels great. You can actually uh, f um, fight your friends here, Selfie, uh, Tidus, and Walker. Okay. Let's take out Selfie first. Let's see here. I've never been good at. There we go. Tech point. Tech points are kind of like experience points. They do the exact same thing that experience points do. They level you up. The only difference is um, experience points are gained uh, after you actually kill something. Tech points are gained in the midst of battle after you do something special like block their attack and deflect something and stuff like that. Come on, baby. See that? Tech point. It does the exact same thing that um, that spin point does, but, but you get it in the midst of, in the midst of battle. Oh, All right. And you can fight these guys as many times uh, um, as you want to. Hey, what's happening, man? Waka. You're next, kiddo. Now, Walker's a little tricky. The trick to beating this... Damn. The trick to beating this guy's... Uh, damn it! All right, let's try that again. The trick to beating Walker is to deflect his uh, Blitz Ball back at him. Like so. And you get a tech point. What you really want to do is hit him with the ball. It'll, it'll stun him for a while and let you do a combo. go easy 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 oh, man. That really hurt. all right and now for Tidus and when I first played this game uh, years ago for some reason I just couldn't beat this guy but I'm a lot older now I'm a lot better so yeah let's do this hey Sora you feel lucky today 
Uh, using Tidus is actually the absolute uh, best way to level up early on. Because he gives you two points instead of just one. The timing is a little tricky. You block his sword, well, his wooden stick, <laughs> you get two tech points. But the timing is uh, almost precise, so... I missed it. There we go. I guess he got tired. Two more tech points. Experience points. There we go. Two more. Oh. I forgot he counterattacks eventually. Two more. And he's down. Uh, Tidus would do his, uh, his victory pose from the actual game, it, um, if he beats you, I find that kind of funny. Alright, now that we've be uh, beaten all three of them, we, we can actually fight all three of them together. And that's actually kind of hard, so we're not gonna do that just yet. Let's go, uh, after Riku now. Now, Riku is pretty damn tough. In fact, I recommend that you, uh, if you, if you care about your score, which I really don't, I recommend that you level up at least one more time before you take on Riku. Because he can almost w uh, one shot you at this point. You've got a potion, but still. You want to save those. I can get a unlimited supply real soon, but it's all good. One on one for now. We're not going to fire a few of them together yet. That's, that's actually really, really hard. Until I level up. Damn it. I missed. All right. I think I can give uh, Riku a fair fight now. If I get by Titus first anyway. Oh, man. I'm really off today. 39 more levels to so level up. Uh... Uh, I think I can t take on Riku like I am. I'm not too sure about that. Well, everyone knows how I play. I'm going to grind one more level before I take on Riku. And I'm going to use uh, Tidus to do it. Alright, I got one more defense point, I believe, so maybe now I can stand up to Riku just a little longer. Just a little. The only problem I got with the Riku is um, when you knock him down, he counterattacks, and it does like half the health, so yeah. Other than that, he's really not that hard. Gonna cry, baby, cry. That's all you're good at. Okay, let's go after Riku now. Of course, all this is just completely optional, but, you know, it's here, and it's kind of fun, so, yeah. Uh, go down, sword. Thank you. All right, Riku's a lot tougher than the rest of them. Did you get anything you need for the ref? I gave my stuff to Kyrie. Hey, sword, how about, how about a quick round? Grab your sword. Okay, pal, you're on. This one decides the champion. He says that every time you fight him, by the way. Ready or not, here we come. Let's see. Uh, you wanna... He, he, he'll, uh, Riku's gonna taunt you a lot. You don't wanna take him head on, cause he'll just block your attack if, if you do that. See, if you take him hit on here, he'll just block you. You want to wait for opening. Like this. Wait for an opening. Up oh, and watch out for that. Yeah, that that right there will do about half the health if you get hit by it. Watch out.
Uh oh. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was, I was scratching my shoulder and I couldn't jump away. But since I lowered up, my defense, I don't take as much as I normally, I normally would have if, if I got, if I got hit by that. Yeah, he's gonna touch you a lot. Oh, watch out! Oh, you missed. Whoa. Got him. All right, scores one to zero. My lead. You get a post for winning. What are we gonna get played those later on? I'm not good at at taking Riku's uh, attack, so that that's why I, I didn't bother to do it. Okay. All right, and now for the hardest one. Now this one's pretty difficult. After you beat uh, Titus, Waka, and Riku. Not Riku. This is selfie. Uh. <laughs> wrong game, DK. Wrong game. After you beat Titus, Waka, and selfie. You can actually fight all three of them together. And yeah, this is very hard. Hey you guys, I think we overdid it. This this is a a, a tactical fight here. I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to go after selfie first, but but I can't because Titus, Titus is chasing me and Walker's throwing that blitz ball at me. I mean, I can win it. It's just that it's, it's, it's tactical. And I got to stop him. There we go. Stop and walk for a minute. Okay, there goes Selfie. With her going, the fight gets just a little easier. Watch out for Walker back there. Watch out for that. Yeah. Watch out for that bliss ball. There goes Titus. And walking by himself really isn't that difficult if you block that that ball in a way. Just don't get hit by that ball. Damn it. All right, potion. I probably didn't have to do that, but for some reason, I'm not good at taking that bliss ball. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not. I don't know why I'm not, but I'm, I'm not good at, at, at blocking that. Cause you can't be off your timing. Yeah, if if you block that one, you'll get two tech points. Don't know why, but oh well. There we go. There we go. Looks like I needed a potion to do it, but it's all good. Cause we're gonna get plenty of those later on. Okay, we got that out of the way. Let's continue. You can uh, do this as many times as you want to. And as I said, uh, taking Titus right now is probably the best way to level up, but let's move on. Thanks, sir. I found something today. Here, it's yours. High potion. You know what that does, of course. Want to call it a day? Uh, not yet. You know what? There's something I never understood about Sora and Kyrie in this game. Why are their feet so big? I mean, look at this. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Kyrie, but I'm really wondering what they were thinking when they uh, when they designed Kyrie in this game. In this game, Kyrie's only 13 years old, and yet look how they designed her. Look at her skirt. So, Kyrie's home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a rat take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. It's just, I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If 
there are any other worlds out there. Why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kari, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Sora! You wanted one, didn't you? A palpu fruit? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay, so first we see a spiky haired dude, then a bunch of little shadowy things, then we see chibi Final Fantasy characters, and now we see Donald Duck. Okay, now you know it's a weird game. <laughs> Hey there, Donald. Good morning. We got a problem, Goofy. But don't tell anyone. Ooh. Queen Minnie? Not even the queen. Daisy? No! It's top secret. Oh, good morning, ladies. What? Okay, what was that all about? Guess we'll find out later. For now, let's move on. Hey, Sylvie, how you doing? Hey, Sora. Have you heard about the legendary power of the Palpu fruit? They say if you share it with someone you really care for, it binds you together forever and ever, through eternity. <sighs> it's so romantic. I gotta try it sometime. Uh, okay, now look at this. We got Titus and Waka and Selfie. That makes no sense. Titus and Waka from 10, Selfie from 8. 
I was told a long time ago that that Selfie was actually supposed to be Riku, but they they left her out of the first game because it it would have been confusing because of the other Riku, you know. All right, guys, let's get one thing straight. Are you listening? Pay close attention. This is very very important. Me and Titus, we are gonna do a little exploring today. His name is Titus. It is not Titus, it's Titus. Got it? Understand? Okay, I don't ever want to hear about this again. His name is Titus. Thank you. You know, to the secret place at the base of that tree. There's got to be something there, yeah? Anyway, let's move on. Up, 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 thank you. Actually, can I catch some fish right now, or can I not do that until I talk to Kaya first? I can't remember. I think you've gotten stronger, but odds are you're still no match for Riku. We took him on three to one last time, and he whipped us all. Well, I guess Kairi can always count on him. Uh, not only did I beat Arthur, you just like Riku did, but I also beat him. Okay. Anyway, I guess I might as well go ahead and, and get this uh, seagull egg while I'm up here. Ah, I just stole the I just stole the seagull's egg, poor thing. Anyway, on to the next level now. Well, not next level, next area. I probably should have saved my game before opening this door. Uh, where's Riku? Oh, there he goes. Hey, so our ref needs a name. I rap his name. How about the high wind? Uh, no. I got a name for you. Uh, wrong button down. I keep forgetting I'm not playing the Japanese version. I've got to remember that that they are inverted. Uh, X and circle. In the English version. Don't know why, but oh well. How about we name it Loxine? Uh, damn, press the su circle button again. Okay, lock scene. Me? Well, um, lock scene. Hey, how about the usual? Let's do it. You guys at it again? Alright, I'll be the judge. The usual rules apply. Take any route you want. Take any route you want. The first one touches that star, comes back, is the winner. If I win. I'm captain, and if you win, I get to share the pow poo with Kyrie. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a pow poo with Kyrie. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, on my count. All right, guys, don't bother following him. You need to go this way because uh, if you go the other way, I don't think you're gonna win. Because you're going to end up falling and stuff. So just go this way. That's why Kaya said take any route you want. She was practically telling you not to go the same way he's going. Because uh, you're going to end up falling. Once that happens, you are going to lose. Trust me. You got to swim this way. You can't afford to get stuck in any corners like that. Just uh, keep moving because you, you got like just, I mean, just enough time to uh, make it. But it's not that, it, it's not hard at all, really. All right, the score is 2 to 0. You suck, Riku. You get a pretty stone for winning. Man, lighten up. It's just a name after all. What's that? Oh, the papu thing? It was a joke. You should have seen your face. I pass. Yeah, you can race him as, as many times as you want to. Uh, will somebody please tell me what's the point of of that whole uh, score thing? If you like, if you like beat, beat, uh, beat yeah, if you beat Riku many times, do you like get something or whatever? I don't know. I never saw a point to doing that. Anyway, let's just uh, grab this thing right here. Come on now, get it. Lift. 
And you know, just by looking at this makes me want to play uh, Mega Man Legends 2 again. And I do indeed uh, have a copy of that game now. It's not a real copy. I kind of burned it off the internet. I can play it, but um, I can't record it properly for some reason. I have to find out why. Why is that? Uh, come on, go up. Uh, okay. Pick up the damn thing. Throw it closer. Now jump on top. Jump up, up, up. Get up there, you look. Thank you. Now give me that. Our first accessory. Protect chain. Just slightly increases your defense. Let's put that on, shall we? Very basic here. Just like any uh, Final Fantasy game, equipment, weapon, accessories, so on and so forth. No different. There's a mushroom. Let's get that. Going. Was it this way or was it the other way? There's a rock I gotta push. I think it's down here. Yeah, right here. That's a. Uh... Oh, I forgot. I gotta target it first before I actually push it. Uh, come on now. Damn it. Thank you. There we go. There we go. There's mushroom. We got two mushrooms. We got seagull egg. Let's talk to Kyrie. Today we need uh, provisions for our trip. Let's see. So you're looking for uh, one seagull egg. Got that. Three mushrooms. I got two. Two coconuts. Three fish. And fill this with drinking water, but not from the ocean. We get that back. All right. The coconuts are over here. You just gotta hit, hit this uh, tree continuously until you get two of them. There's one. It'll be yellow, not the brown ones. Do it again. Yeah, it is. Uh, what the? What happened to it? Oh, when the other ones failed, it uh, disappeared. That's what happened. I forgot. The game can only hold two coconuts for some reason. There we go. Give me that. Is there a point to getting more than two coconuts? If I can't get two anyway. If I can't get more than two. And I don't think I can. Okay, no more dropping. Okay, let's go. Uh, down, boy. All right, let's go back to the uh, last level now. I guess you probably can win if, if you go this way, but it'll be a lot easier if you go the other way. Do 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 do. This music gonna drive you nuts. This is just is. Yes. All right, let's do a little fishy. Eh? One fish. Uh, why are you? Two fish. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Yes, that was a Sesame Street reference. Give me that. Thank you. If only fishing was really that easy, but it's not. All right, we need one more item. We, we, uh, we need the final um, the final mushroom. We have to go into the secret passage to get that. Where was it again? It was a uh, rather waterfall down here. Here we go. All right, just go in here. You see a little weird symbols on the wall. And there's the final mushroom. And now for a cutscene that really confuses the game. to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected. Well, what are you talking about? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, 
Where did you come from? You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Oh yeah? Well you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Okay, so I'm a. Uh, I told you this. This game has perhaps the most confusing plotline ever. Uh, so I'm assuming that that was uh, Ansem, or rather Xehanort's Heartless. You know, this isn't a spoiler-free walkthrough. I'm going to assume that you know most of you playing watching this has already played the game at some point. Very well. Let's go back to our girlfriend Kyrie. Hey, baby. This, I'm making a necklace of uh, Thalala shells. The old days, sailors always wore Thalala shells. They're supposed to be in sure safe mind. See this? It's a charm to help us find each other if we ever get separated. I guess that's a clue to tell us that we are indeed going to get separated, huh? Apparently, that's a very important item in Sora's uh, story. Oh, I forgot the uh, I forgot the water. Damn it! Let me go back to the waterfall. I'll be right back. Okay, so let me see if I got this straight. All three of us are gonna drink out of the same bottle. We're gonna eat a seagull egg, three fish, and some dried up mushrooms, coconut, and we don't have anything to cook it on, unless they um uh, unless they're cooking it in inside the house before they leave or something. I don't know. All right, let's try this again. Thanks, Sora. I found something. It's yours. Another hot potion. Tired? Want to call it a day? Yeah. Tomorrow's a big day. Let's rest up. Yeah, tomorrow is indeed a big day. A lot of fighting going on. You know, Rico has changed. What do you mean? Well... Okay. Sora, let's take the raft and go. Just the two of us. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kyrie. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Just have to trust the king. 
Gorge, I sure hope he's all right. Well, I guess. Don't worry. We'll find the king and the king. Thank you. Both of you. Can you take care of them? Of course. You be careful now, both of you. Oh, and to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Over here! Cricket's the name. Jiminy Cricket at your service. We hope for your safe return. Please help the king. Gorge, Jiminy, your world disappeared too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Jiminy. Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. Right. World border. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll need new duds when we get there, huh? You know, it's amazing how. How, how 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 Donald and Goofy and, and pretty much all the Disney characters have their original voice from 50 years ago. I mean, how how is that possible? I mean, really? Maybe there's a a voice machine that that lets them talk like Donald and Goofy and Mickey. You, you know, uh, Hasuna Miku has a recorded voice. Maybe they they did the same for the Disney characters. Chippendale. And probably the thing I hate about this game the most. The gummy ship. I hate the gummy ship in this game. I just can't stand it. I just can't. This is gonna be hell. When I first played this game on PS2, I never bothered to learn how to edit the gummy ship, and I don't think I'm gonna try here either. Hopefully the proud mode won't be too much more difficult. But I, I just don't know how to edit the gummy ship. I, I just don't. It's too confusing. Can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. A storm? Oh no! The raft! Sora! Dinner's ready! Come on down! Sora? Not good. They're back! Uh, okay, so this is how I got this straight. I can pair their attacks with the wooden sword, but I can't attack them with the wooden sword? That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. How can you pair their attacks with it, but you can't actually attack them with it? That makes no sense. Anyway, to that end, you, 
you can't kill them yet, so let's not waste our time. Instead, you see Riku way down there. This is actually uh, one of my favorite parts of the game because of the music. Really dramatic. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've got to find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Riku. Okay, so I'm assuming that at this point, somehow, Anthony or Bayonard found his way inside Riku and he was completely I, I guess, I don't know, I told you, I, I, I don't understand the plot line at all, I, I just don't. Hey, what we got here? Keyblade. Okay. When do they ever explain exactly how Sora got that Keyblade anyway? I mean, it, it, it just it just came out of nowhere. Hey, we can fight back now. All right. Every time you kill uh, these little bastards, you get one point. They restore the, uh, your health with these little green things here. On rare cases, they might even drop a potion. Come on now, take your medicine. Go, bastard. And the best part about this is they keep coming. Over and over and over again. This is this is infinite. You can fight this guy as long as you want to. So theoretically, I guess it's possible to get to level 99 here, but why would you do that? <laughs> Seriously. I guess if you uh if if you level up at midday, I mean, if your journey begins at, if your journey begins in the daytime, where you uh, level up faster early on, you might can get to a high level. But I'm probably only going to like level up twice, and then that's going to be it. But yeah, they keep coming over and over and over and over and over again. They keep coming over and over. I think this is here mainly. For you to get the combat on your fingers, but unlike Kingdom Hearts 2, this is a this battle system is is is, is really really basic. As I said in the first episode, 80% of the game is spent doing this. All you're doing is hammering the attack button. This, this is it. This, this is what you're gonna be doing throughout the entire game. Which is precisely why I uh, discarded my magic, because the only time you're gonna see me use magic is cure. I mean seriously. And of course, uh, when I fight Hades, uh, I'm gonna use Blizzard. But other than that, there's another spell I use, uh, Era, some wind spell that surrounds you or something. I don't know. But I don't use magic in this game at all. That's what Dawn is for, really. All right, as I said, uh, these guys keep coming over and over and over and over and over again, as you see. So I guess I'll do this off screen until I get about what one or two more levels. We'll be back. Another potion. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably best if you if you stay here for a while and stock up on potions, so you won't have to buy them. Because if maybe it says me that the first few boss fights are kind of tough. All right, let's get out of here. Once you have your once you've had your feel of shadows. Just uh, come in here, and the game gets crazy. Kyrie.
Sora. He's back! But this time, it's a real boss fight. This time, you, you have to actually win. Of course, if you load up a, a few, there's nothing hard about it at all. Just keep attacking his arm. And you'll kill him before you know it. You shouldn't have to heal here. And you're gonna end up healing anyway because these little ball things here. Just take his arm and you'll be out of mess before you know it. Use these to heal if you need to. Kill them to cause they're in my way. Interfering my target. This guy's just a little stronger in, in this fight than he was the first time, but there's nothing hard about him. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. Stop. This is it. This is your story. It all begins here.